Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. So this is the second in a series of videos on the Desire Elemental and this video is about working with other people's Desire Elementals so as to spark them or help them to begin to uh, unify those two mental bodies, the lower and the higher mental body. And the ultimate aim is com total mastery of mind. So. so then uh, there is work with other people's desire elementals as well uh, that you encounter. They could be desire ent elementals belonging to people that you know or to complete strangers, it doesn't matter. Um, so, one of the things to do is, the, because the desire elementals of other people are always talking to me, even though their upper mental mat bodies don't know about it, uh, what I want to do is introduce their lower, ele lower <laughs> mental bodies, their desire elementals, to their higher mental bodies their cerebral cortexes and their um, uh, voluntary um, motor system, their, um, their conscious minds, not their subconscious minds. So, um, so what I do is when the desire elemental of someone else comes, says something to me, usually they're, they're positioned in the, the lower body of light of the person, starting to say from the waist down, and um, the lower quadrant of the body of light, and, and they're, they're feeling that that's where they are, that that's where they ought to be. Um, and um, so they say things like, um, usually it's something that says, it's either very, um, very judgmental, like, you're not my kind of person, like that, or like that, or you wear the wrong clothes, or something like that, you know, something like that. Something in group, out group is what they say. Or else they say, hey, hey, can we make love, or something like that, right? So it's, it's either the one or the other. And so the thing that the person on the spiritual path can do is, is, talk to them with our own uh, higher mental body, our own conscious mind, and say, go on back to your person, go on back to your person and ask them what to do. Talk to them. You know they love you. They really love you, and lots of times, and they will go back right away. And lots of times, they'll then ensue a conversation. You don't, you hate me, you, you really hate me, or something like that, because they're not talking, right? And so then I say to the person's higher mental body, this is a different form of telepathy, I say, um, I say, say, he's talking to you, or she's talking to you. Why don't you tell him that you love him, like that? And they go, they, usually if it's a guy, they won't say they love him. <laughs> say, they say something like, of course I love you. If, if you're lucky, that's what they say. Of course I love you. Or if you're not lucky, they say, you're okay, right? And then you'll hear from down below, you'll hear, I'm not, I'm not, you don't think that, you know? Because <laughs> there's this big Puritan mix-up going on right now. And so, um, and, and so I'll encourage the higher mental body. I'll say, say it again, go on, it's okay. And so then the conversation will continue between those two, the lower and the higher of the other person. And that's exactly what we on the spiritual path are aiming at with other people, that everyone should have a unified mind. So that's how it goes. Uh, and there are other things that can happen too. Like just now, I was walking down a lonely path in the mountain. Well, less, less traveled, right? A footpath. And uh, high on a, uh, the peak nearby, were maybe four or five people, young people, in high spirits, right? And so when young people are together and in high spirits, I'm always careful because their desire elementals can be rather rambunctious. So I was coming around the curve, 
and just got out of the sight of them as they started to come back down the mountain there. And one of the young people sent their desire elemental out, actually, to me, and with an image. It was like a young child running to meet me, to grab me, like, you know, not as tall as me, about half as tall as me, to grab me, and it was going, it was going, I will grab her, I will grab her, like that. And, and, the, uh, and so this is like a young person who doesn't know any better would do, right? So I said, go on back to the person that you're with, and you stay, stay right there with them. And I actually sent my lower mental body, uh, like skipping behind them, so that holding their arms actually down by their sides in front of the lower quadrant of light of that person for a moment so that they would get the idea. And then I said, here, here, you two talk together, and they started talking. And further, he started talking to, with another member of the group. They learned very quickly. So there is that, too. You can pro project your desire elemental to interact with the desire elemental of someone else in the way that your conscious mind desires.